America, Tom Hand here with Americana Corner. Today we're discussing the battles of Saratoga. General John Burgoyne's British Army crossed to the west bank of the Hudson River in mid-September to continue its march towards Albany. General Benedict Arnold had placed American troops in a virtually unassailable position on high ground called Bemis Heights. On September 19th, Burgoyne moved his army through heavy woods around the American flank, hoping to surprise the Continentals. However, Arnold, anticipating Burgoyne's move, sent Captain Daniel Morgan's Virginia riflemen and Major Henry Dearborn's light infantry to attack the British at Freeman's Farm before they could deploy. Morgan's men hit the Redcoats hard, and a bloody melee ensued, with attacks and counterattacks raging throughout the day, as the Americans proved an equal match for the Brits. With darkness falling, British reinforcements arrived and drove the Americans from the field. Burgoyne's victory at Freeman's Farm cost him 600 men, a price he could not afford to pay. With his army starving and quick action required, Burgoyne surprisingly halted his advance for two and a half weeks, waiting for help to arrive from New York. Finally, on October 7th, unable to delay any longer, Burgoyne sent a detachment to probe the American position. The Continentals reacted quickly, and the fight seesawed back and forth. General Arnold, at a critical juncture, led three Connecticut militia regiments against the British line and won the Battle of Bemis Heights for the Americans. Unfortunately, Arnold suffered a severe wound in his left knee and would never be the same man, physically or mentally. And within three years, the Supreme Patriot would betray his own country. Next week, we'll discuss the British surrender at Saratoga. Until next time, may your love of country lead you.